Hello friends, in the present video, let us solve a problem based on the standard penetration test. Uh, first, uh, read the given question. Standard penetration test values conducted at different levels are given below. Okay, find the final average SPT value. Okay. Uh, at four different levels, they have construct, uh, they have conducted the standard penetration test, and the values are given 20, 33, 70, and 35. If it is so, we have to find out what is the final average value. Is it simply we have to take the average of these four? Is there any cross checks after that? If you remember, I think yes. So, what is that cross check? If you remember it, so first, what you have to do. You have to find out the average value of all levels. Let us say if this value is n, then we have to cross check. That is the independent value, the independent standard penetration value, it should not be less than 50% of this and greater than the 50% of this. So, what is the 50% of this less than the 50% of this? 0.5n. What is the greater than 50%? That is 1.5 N. So if this is the average value, then the independent value should fall within this limit. If it falls with, within, if it doesn't fall within this limit, then we should not consider that value. And again, we have to find out the average. Now, let us consider what is the given values, N A, given as 20, and B given as 33, and C given as 70, and ND it is given as 35. Now find out the average. If you find out the average, let us say N will be equal to NA plus NB plus NC plus ND. As we are taking four values divided by four. If you substitute the values here, then we will get around 39.5. Okay. Now let us see the values. What is the range? What is the less than 50? That means 0 0.5 times n. What is n? 39.5. So how much we'll get here? That will be equal to 0 0.5 into 39.5. That will be equal to how much you're getting? 19.75. This is what the minimum limit. That means that whatever may be the value, it should not go less than this much. Similarly, what is the more than 50% value? That means 1.5 times n. So what is the 1.5 times the average value given? That is 39.5. So how much we'll get? We are getting it around 59.25. So this is what called the maximum limit. So the independent values, that is NA, NB, NC, and ND should fall within this limit. If they are not falling within this limit, then we should not consider them in the average. What is the NA value? NA value given as how much? 20. Is it falling within this limit or out of the limit? 20. It, I think it is falling within the limit. Why? Because 20 is greater than the 19.75. Okay, consider. What about NB? NB will be equal to 33. It is also in this limit. Okay, consider. What about NC? NC will be equal to 70. Is it within this limit? It is exceeding the maximum limit. That's why it should not consider. And what about ND? That will be equal to 35. Do we have to consider or not? Okay. As it is within this limit, then we can consider it. So out of the four values, three values are coming within the limit. One value is not coming within the limit. So that's why you have to neglect that value and you have to consider the average. Now, as NC is for coming outside the limit, we have to be discarded. Then take the average of remaining three, that is NA plus NB plus ND divided by, as we are considering only three values divided by three, that will be equal to 20 plus 33 plus 35 divided by three. So this is what your final 
average value. So how much you are getting? So this twenty plus thirty three plus thirty five divided by three. So you are getting around it as twenty nine point three. Twenty nine point three three. Let us consider your final value as twenty nine on an average. Okay. So first we have to find out the value, and then we have to see whether independent values are falling within these limits or not. If they are not falling within the limit, then you have to you should not consider in final calculation. Okay. Thank you.